fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, the snow has started to come in right on time. Now, these are the snowfall totals that we've got from early this morning. Understand, there's going to be more snow than this than uh, than uh, what was reported this morning. So 1.6 inches as of this morning in Silver Creek, one and a half in Fredonia, about uh, 700 of an inch in Jamestown, 600 uh, 600 of an inch in Dunkirk, uh, half an inch in Ishway, and about uh, 300 of an inch in Franklinville and Cattaraugus County. But the snow is going to continue as we go through the afternoon hours here. So winter storm storm warning is in place for all of the southern tier and all western Pennsylvania until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and that means we are still going to be dealing with some moderate to heavy snowfall at times so the uh, weather impacts here snowfall still the big issue here that's obviously going to be the main issue as we go through today tonight and then early tomorrow blowing snow is also going to become an issue the winds are going to increase through the afternoon just a little bit but we are going to see some wind gusts of around 30 miles an hour so that could cause some blowing snow so uh, you'll have to watch out for that if you do brave the elements and have to go out today. So let's take you through uh, the next uh, 48 hours on future scan. The snow is going to continue through the day today with moderate to heavy bursts at times. It's not going to be heavy snow all the time. There are going to be some lighter pockets of snow, but there are going to be some bursts of heavier snow. And something we mentioned yesterday, why this forecast has been so difficult, it is because of this, this sleet and freezing rain line down here. Uh, how close was this going to ride to the region? The good news for us, it looks like it's passing further to the south, so we're not going to be dealing with freezing rain. We mention it all the time. Freezing rain is the worst of all the winter weather elements. As we go through the day tomorrow, the storm system starts to move out of the region, goes up towards New England, and we're going to see the snow tapering off west to east uh, through the day tomorrow. But we will keep the chance for a few scattered snow showers in the forecast for Friday afternoon. And then by the time we go into Saturday, we start to dry out, which is good news. And it looks like the dry pattern is going to stick around for a while. Now additional snowfall, this goes all the way through today, tonight, and then through the day on Friday. So we could pick up an additional foot and a half, maybe 13 inches in some spots. And again, there's high confidence that this will be the case. So this could easily push totals over a foot or more in most areas. So yeah, you'll definitely have to get the shovels, the snow blowers, and the plows out once again. Widespread snow uh, through the afternoon today will be heavy at times, three to seven inches of daily accumulation through the afternoon. Blowing snow will be possible with that wind gust of around 30 miles an hour, 23 to 30 will be the high temperature range today. Widespread snow continues tonight with heavy bursts. We'll add, uh, we'll add an additional three to six inches through the overnight hours, 12 to 20 uh, low temperatures tonight. The ultimate satellite solution seven day snow tapers off west to east through the day on Friday. So, so the morning will be the most snowiest, then it will turn better for the afternoon commute on a Friday afternoon. Only up to 19. We're down to four to start Saturday morning. We still see this Arctic air coming on in for the first half of the weekend. Uh, another cold start on Sunday six, but we do rebound up to 30 with some good supply of sunshine. And it looks like that Arctic air kind of gets blown out of here as we go into uh, early next week. And we stay dry with temperatures hovering right around that 30 degree mark.